University of Michigan football legend Desmond Howard is on the receiving end of a lawsuit that could pass for unnecessary roughness or unsportsmanlike conduct. At least that's how Howard sees it. The former NFL and Michigan Wolverine star is speaking extensively for the first time about a lawsuit he was hit with in January involving the photo of his iconic 1991 Heisman pose. The photographer who snapped the shot, which became one of most historic moments in college football history, is suing Howard, Sports Illustrated and host of others, claiming they sold and copied his photo without asking, crediting or paying him. Story, dispute over Heisman pose photo goes to court. Howard, who is accused of posting the photo to his website without permission, says he was blindsided. It baffles me, Howard told Detroit Free Press. It seems absurd that someone can come after you more than two decades after you've played your last down and sue you over your own likeness. Howard spoke extensively about the lawsuit for the first time Friday, nearly two months after it was filed in U.S. District Court in Detroit. But before speaking out, he vented on Twitter. How about this? Someone is suing me over a picture of me, Howard posted on his Twitter page Monday, the same day the Free Press ran an article about the lawsuit. After some complimentary tweets from his loyal followers, Howard spoke out. I've got a story to get out there, he said. Obviously, I'm the subject of the picture. I think people would like to hear what I have to say. Without a doubt, I do plan to vigorously fight this. The lawsuit revolves around a 1991 photograph that captured Howard striking the Heisman Trophy pose in the end zone during a Michigan-Ohio State football game. The picture, snapped after Howard returned the 93-yard punt for a touchdown, has turned up in magazines, posters, giant wall art, sports memorabilia and Howard's website. The photographer, Brian Mask, argues all of this was done without his permission. Howard a long-time advocate of college athletes' rights to their likeness, says he's done nothing wrong. It's a picture of me, on my website. I'm not selling it. I'm not making any money off it, Howard said, adding he doesn't have an e-commerce section on his website selling the picture. I've never sold the photo to anyone. I've never done that. His take on the lawsuit, it's very disturbing. I can't even make sense out of it. Howard said that in recent years, he and Mask have discussed the photo, and even considered going into business together, though it never happened. He also said he once offered to buy the copyright of the photo from him, but the price was too high, $200,000 to $300,000. I don't know about you, but I don't have that type of money to spend on a picture of myself, Howard said, chuckling. Howard did stress that he understands photographers have rights. I'm sympathetic to the rights of artists, he said. But I'm also sympathetic to the rights of college athletes and their liveness. According to the lawsuit, Mask didn't get a copyright for the photo until 2011, which he partly blames on bad legal advice. The statute of limitations for copyright infringement is three years. Mask's suit claims Howard unlawfully posted the photo to his website in 2011. It also accuses Sports Illustrated of unlawfully using the photo in an advertising spread for Nice on automobiles in 2010 and 2011. Walmart and Amazon.com also are accused of unlawfully selling image on its websites. This case is not about a photograph going viral. It is about getting credit. And yes, it is also about the money, the lawsuit states. The Heisman pose and Brighton's iconic photograph which captured it have both gone viral. The name Brighton Mask has not. Howard's take on that. And is that Desmond Howard's fault? I guess I didn't make him famous enough.